Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm on Hotspot with my division buddies and I'm sailing HMS Cossack with tier 8 premium British DD and uh, yeah I'm just going to attack B. I like B on Hotspot especially in DDs it's usually pretty easy to take uh, but we've got an Akatsuki in the cap so I'm going to drive in and uh, put the Hydro on now the Cossack's got a 3 minute Hydro it's absolutely fantastic and invaluable in my opinion I'm just going to drive forward and see if I can uh, detect him again there's also an enemy Z23 and an Holland in Alpha Cap uh, so I need to be mindful of their whereabouts at all times here really so it looks as though the Akatsuki's done a runner at this point but um, we'll see I'm going to try and position myself so I can get some torpedoes into the Alpha Cap just in case anything's coming in this direction so it was a pretty good policy to do so might as well do something whilst we're uh, taking the Bravo cap and there's a Duke of York coming my way as well he's miles away at the moment so there's no threat but and uh, torpedoes from the Akatsuki inbound and the Hydro lets me know exactly where they are in, in good time I always recommend using the Hydro if you've got it on your DD even if it's a defensive Hydro like this one it's only a, a 3 km Hydro but really useful you know <clears throat> um, I know the Orland's right on the outer limits of my torpedo range so I decide to open up with guns and just see if I can reset the cap just for the lols really is uh, right at the edge of my gun range as well so I managed to get him on the first strike and I'm actually doing some pretty serious damage to this guy and if he sits there he's gonna be he could be in trouble you know so I'll just reverse out and try and keep him in range of the guns and kind of always looking around between one shot or two just to see what's happening and it looks like the Akatsuki is firing on my, my position so I decided to get a couple of salvos out into the Iowa and go and search for this guy and yeah that's a Megami so I don't want to open fire in, uh, in vision of him that's for certain and I managed to get a fire on the Iowa which is great so we've got the Bravo cap and I decide to head over to Charlie cap uh, I don't really want to go to Alpha cap I'd be fairly isolated over there and there's quite a few ships uh, our team are really outnumbered I think they've got what seven ships over there so yeah so whilst we're travelling over to Charlie Cap, I'll, we'll talk about the commander skills. Um, and yeah, preventative maintenance required, must have. Last stand, another must have in my opinion. And then on the Cossack, I, I go for survivability expert, which gives 350 hit points per tier, which is pretty good. Uh, superintendent, because of the extra smoke. So it gives it seven smokes. Uh, concealment expert, of course. Radio location, because I love it. Adrenaline rush, which is quite useful. Maybe not as useful as it is on other ships. Increase the gears for the turret tra traverse. So, yeah, that's my build on the Cossack. I mean, you could go main battery specialist. Um, and maybe boost the tops, I don't know. Or even go for, for the fire chance. So we're in Charlie Cap and I'm uh, getting quite close to some of these BBs so I decide to use the island for effect and uh, shoot the Iowa 
and I managed to get a fire on him which is great and then I decided to go to the right hand side of the island <coughs> and see if we can get some more shots into the uh, superstructure of these BBs also because I'm firing here I mean I know there's no DDs about because I'm not spotted if there was a DD south of me he'd be spotting me right now so I decide I can just play around with these guys for a little bit which is lovely <laughs> and so uh, yeah maybe rack up a little bit of fire damage here if we're lucky So I've decided to activate the Hydro, just in case there's a, a rogue torpedo inbound. Always a good idea, a good thing to do really, when you're kind of stationary and just moving backwards and forwards behind an island. So now I'm going to target the, the Duke of York in reverse, so I stay in stealth. I've no reason to use a smoke screen just yet, which makes a change. Yeah, we're getting some consistent hits into this guy. Uh, 12 pens, 6 non pens. And now the uh, the Sov Soyuz comes into view, so I'm kind of deciding what I'm going to do here because the eye was flanking to the right of me. Sov Soyuz is coming in closer. I decide to smoke up here and shoot the Soyuz. See if we can get a bit of fire damage on this guy I mean the guns on the Cossack are pretty good I mean there's eight of them for starters uh, the reloads 4.6 seconds I believe something like that yeah and I get a fire which is grand you can see on the minimap we could be in trouble. The whole of the enemy team are, are travelling at a Bravo cap, pretty much, apart from these BBs that are down here. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be quite aggressive by the look of things. And the Soft Soyuz is charging into me, so you know what's going to happen here, right? Okay, there's only one option. I've got to get rid of this guy. <coughs> I've got 47,500 health, so I probably need quite a few of these torps, if not all of them, to kill him. That's one out, and I'll send the rest out on his starboard side. So that kind of worked, however he took, what, 8,000 health off me more or less? But I think it was well worth it. So now I'm thinking what to do, target the guys that are coming from Bravo or get some shots into the Iowa that's retreating. And I decide, you know, the Iowa's just taking a massive hit, so <clears throat> I'll just target him and see what we can do. All the time just being aware of... Uh, where all the enemy ships are really. And yeah, managed to get him, which is great. So that's uh, second kill of the game. I'm just trying to think if there are any negative things I've got to say about this ship. I mean, the stealth's amazing, 5.5 kilometers, uh, beaten only by the Kigero at tier 8. Uh, the guns are great, 8 rifles, uh, pretty consistent, you get decent fire damage usually. And the AP's pretty good as well at close range. I noticed there's another Iowa traveling in closer from uh, the Bravo cap so yeah I decide uh, to smoke up at this point and fire over the island 
I can't open water gun belting because I get spotted from the south at this point. So yeah, see if we can get some fires into him. And lo and behold, there's another Iowa turned up. So I think it's torpedo time again, don't you? Just using the single launchers there to uh, just to spread them out a little bit. I'm pretty confident that these should hit him. <clears throat> Get a shot into him and accelerate out of smoke and hide behind the island. And yeah. Uh, another kill. That'll do. So at this point we've uh, definitely blunted the enemy attack here. I mean they're all kind of hiding behind that island. I think if they'd have pushed into us it might have been a, a bit of a different story. They had a lot of firepower there. And the enemy just lost the Megami. Uh, to our Georgia. He's done very well. And the Olin gets our Georgia, which is a shame. But, you know, there's still a ship in the lead at this point. <clears throat> Lost all the caps, of course. But uh, we're still in a reasonable shape, points wise. Uh, partly due to the fact I got the Bravo cap early on, and that was ticking for a while. And now I reverse and try and get some shots into the Iowa. Bit of a mistake here. I should have switched to AP and just hammered his bow with AP, really. It'd have been quite effective at this sort of range. So he's really close. And he's reversing again, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pants on head moment coming up. I decide, you know. I've got three kills, I can go for the crack in here, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to drive around the island and uh, see what I can do with this Iowa. <clears throat> I know there's a, an Erland there as well, right? So, this could turn into a shit show fairly quickly if I don't watch what I'm doing. And yeah, opening fire on his superstructure with HE. Probably should have smoked up already. Yes, definitely should have smoked up and a half now. So the penny drops and I decide to load AP eventually. And I get the fourth kill. Which is uh, just fine. Now, I'm slightly worried about the Erland. These torpedoes are pretty quick. But I've got the Hydra running, so I'm kind of gathering my thoughts. I had a couple of uh, drinks at this point as well, so I probably wasn't thinking that quickly. And I decided to get some shots into the Duke of York. Erland's in Bravo Cap. He's probably sent torpedoes out on the Georgia, our Georgia that's north. And my buddy in the Kagero. Has, uh, I've got some torps out on the Duke of York, but he's turned into those, and of course they've all missed. So at this point, I decide to drive forward, and that's great. The Ellen gets killed by our Georgia, which is superb. And I decide to smoke up here and just start pew pewing the Duke of York, and we'll see what happens. I've extended the, the smoke duration slightly on uh, on this ship using the, the flag that does that. I'm not convinced it's that helpful though. I think it only gives like a one and a half second boost to the action time. Um, so yeah, I'm undecided of whether to keep that on or not. Anyway, we're, we're doing some pretty decent damage here at the Duke of York. Got, uh, the fire ticking away nicely. 
And we're about 50-50 pens, non-pens there. He's going to go down. So I'm travelling out with the smoke screen at full speed. And encounter the Akatsuki and his torpedoes. <laughs> so I'll take a shot at him. He's made me turn, so I'm kind of a bit discombobulated. And he manages to kill me with a reasonable shot there. So yeah, I highly recommend the Cossack. It's a great fun ship to play. Um, good gun power. Uh, the torpedoes, nothing to write home about, but they do reload fairly quickly. A good game all in all. I was pleased with the, the first half of the game. Could have played it a little bit more cautiously towards the end there, but you know, it, it's fine. <laughs> I got a Kraken and a Confederate out of it and uh, even managed to make a few bob as well which is lovely. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching, I do appreciate it and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, take care.